Star Trek where they... I wouldn't have a clue, Paul. Transponder. Transformer. What is it called, Dave? Teleporter. Teleporter, that's what it is. Good evening and welcome to this evening's green room. Live in colour. I hear... Hey, hold on, here's... <laughs> hold on. Ray is being transported as we speak now. Shum, shum. Look, look, look. Shum, shum, shum. Now, there, look at that. Look. That was that 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 was incredible. That was well, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to the green room. And good evening to Julie Lugo, who's watching in Argentina live. Got up especially to see the lads. It's all right. The lads are going to tell us all about the play anyway, right? So I've got Kieran and Ray with me this evening. And Kieran, first of all, go to you, Cavern Theatre Festival. Yes, Paul. Tell us all about it. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, first inaugural Cavern Theatre Festival. July 17th to 20th, four day celebration of theatre and the arts. Smack bang in the middle of Cavan Town. Brilliant. Um, yeah. And, and see, you've got a great response. Huge response. Do you yeah. know how I know? Because I walk in the post office. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of and brown I see envelopes. I've seen them going through. It really is great. Yeah, cause I process um, them and see them going through and it's brilliant. Yeah, deadline is Friday at five o'clock. So if there's anyone out there thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I, get them in. You still have a few days. And what? Just if you've written a play or you want to produce a play, yeah, just contact yourself. Pretty much, um, the application form is available on the website, uh, CavanTheatreFestival dot com. Um, just download it. It's very simple. Who you are, what you're about, um, what play you want to do, and uh, we'll try and accommodate you. Brilliant. And you've had all sorts of entries then? Yeah, like um, my aim was to open it up to as many emerging artists as possible within Cavan and the wider region, and um, to join the likes of um, Aaron Monaghan, um, Philip Doherty, Seamus O'Rourke, um, <coughs> Sally O'Dowd, <coughs> um, <coughs> Rafe Simons. Rafe Simons! Of course, there's <laughs> going to be... Uh, <laughs> sure, we forgot about Rafe Simons. <coughs> um, like, since we, since we launched um, <coughs> National uh, Theatre Day, or World Theatre Day in the Abbey Theatre on March 27th this year. Uh, we got Stephen Ray to launch it, Pat McCabe was there, Porrick McIntyre, uh, Shane Connachton. People like that have been really behind us and promoting us. And um, yeah, so if you want to be um, join the likes of them. Come and join us. Come and join us. Again, give the details again there, just in that camera there. Yeah, so it's um, Cavan Theatre Festival, July, 20, July 17th to 20th. It's a Thursday to a Sunday. All the details are on our website, www.cavantheatrefestival.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and um, yeah, the deadline is this Friday, 5pm. Come join us. Sounds brilliant. Hmm. It's very, very exciting stuff, isn't it? It's great for Cavan, yeah. It's yeah. a great celebration for Cavan Town, and um, yeah, it should be a good festival atmosphere. And do you think it'll be an ongoing thing, an annual event that'll just... That's the plan, to slowly kind of... Um, bring the arts community together and um, to build on the flas, to build on the stripes, to build on Cornwall Theatre when Cavan. Yeah. Cavan, you know, Cam TV, the first TV That's station. It. Yeah, it's about bringing all the elements together in a festival atmosphere and hopefully the festival will build to be something like the Stoll or Kinsale or Galway. And there's no reason why not at the moment because no, it's, it's... the people's here, the artists are here. Um, the ideas are here, so it's about, um, yeah, it's about passion. Fantastic. Which brings us nicely to Frank Pick says hello. Yes. And Rafe Simon says, gentlemen, who we all know, of course. And I know I say it every week <coughs> when somebody comes on and they play in the band and I've played in the band with them. But this is the truth. And I can't have, I've done Shakespeare with Rafe Simon. Is right, Not Paul. many people can say that. <laughs> yeah. In the Abbey. Know, yeah. In the Abbey. <laughs> in the Abbey. Not, well, not the, not the Abbey, but in the no, Abbey. Well, <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare in the Abbey, Paul, remember? I tell the boys oh, yes, the good old days. I tell the boys that, well, I've got that Shakespeare in the Abbey, and they go, oh, you haven't. And it's a great talking point in the pub, because yeah. they don't believe it. I never actually, yeah, I never actually thought of putting it like that. There you are, that's it, and it's fantastic. But, Ray, you've gone from strength to strength. Your acting career, seriously, because it's the, the whole, isn't it, Kieran? seriously? Yeah, like, I'm um, the first time working with Ray, and um, it's a pure pleasure. Um, this guy has uh, kind of rose in the last two or three years and be, has been on my radar, particularly yeah. over the last um, year to two years, um, particularly with his work with the Gonzo and Endgame. And unfortunately, I didn't get to see Endgame, but um, what I hear, it was um, a mesmeric performance. Yeah, and, and, yeah everybody talked about it. And, uh, Ray, 
they all talked about you. You were fantastic. Mm. It was very, uh, no. very intense. And um, well, I mean, I, I suppose I had a central part in it, but I think you know, I think people were very impressed with the play in general. I yeah, think. yeah. The four of us, I think we really got into a groove with it, uh, and um, I think uh, you know, Damien, Damien oh, is the director. I mean, Damien is fantastic. He's um, he really knows his Beckett, and it was a pleasure really and to again, get to know Beckett through somebody like that. You know? He helps you enjoy it as well. Mm. You know, which is what it's all about. Like, yeah, he's got know? a wicked sense of humour, Damien. Yeah. You, know I mean? you know, he's <laughs> so you know, like uh, he has a real Beckett, in, you know, yeah. sense of humour. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah. And has this been the thing of yours to be an actor? Because the way you're going now. Um, it was always something that, like in the back of my mind. Yeah. It was something I'd, like I thought I'd like to try, uh, but never really. I did like I was in a drama society in college there for just really briefly. Uh, something distracted me. Um, but it's always in my head. Yeah, you know, I'd, like I've played music on stages before, but um, you know, I always wanted to try acting. And then it was, it was Philip Doherty. He yeah. gave me a call one day and uh, offered me, the, you know. A part that uh, I really couldn't turn down, you know. Yeah, the legendary part. <laughs> 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 yeah. Become the, but it didn't hang around as as you know, you you grew out of it as well, and went on to other things, didn't you? You know, just. Yeah, well, I just really enjoyed it. I, the, the process of um, of putting something together is great as well, as you know from yeah the fun we had making, you know, doing Good. a midsummer night's dream. Midsummer night's dream, you know, um, there's so many people involved, and it's just all this energy flying about and. And then, and then the pressure of the first performance, oh. and we didn't know how it would go, and it turned out it went really well. And you know what I mean? The, you know the elation you feel after yeah. that. It's fabulous. It's fantastic, you know. And then, you know, so you just, you know, well, you hope that projects will come up that, you know, that are, you know, you know, and it's great, you know, like the Phillips plays after, you know, doing so well. Mm. You know, and her play, and I, mean, I can only imagine how that group feels, like, you know, oh. winning the All Ireland, you know. It's, We've been it's, with them a couple of times now filming yeah. and stuff, and it's just. Yeah. There's a magic feeling there, you know, it's think, just... Yeah, I think Ray's a great example of actually, um, we talked about this when we were in Glasgow recently, um, doing uh, Frank Pig Says Hello <clears throat> as part of our European work placement. And um, I think there's a kind of a generational thing going on where yeah. there's just a new bunch of people yeah. kind of wanting to be, particularly in Cavan, working in the arts. And I think that's a pure example of what's happened with the Gonzo. Yeah. And Ray is a very good example like that. And myself, who started with the Gonzo. Um, so, yeah, it's about capturing that. And it that is, because nowadays, it's <clears throat> nobody's afraid to join the arts now. Mm. I've said this before with other people I've had on, that it's not taboo anymore. No. Years and years ago, it was, oh, you're one of them boys. Yeah, yeah. You're in, uh, oh, you're, uh, well, you're not going to play football or rugby or something like that. And I'd say, hello. <laughs> <laughs> But then now it's like fully acceptable. Do the arts. Yeah. Yeah. Get into a band. It's okay to get into a band. When I started off playing in a band, you were just looked down upon, frowned mm. upon. You know, really, really mm. was. You know, what I get a real job. It was a real job. And it was great crack. Mm. But it's the same as this. This acting, you're going to make a career this way. Especially wow. if you take on parts like this part you've got now. Well, yeah. You know, you haven't seen what I've done with yet. Oh. It could be the end of my career. No, you know? no, no. <laughs> Kieran, uh, tell us about Glasgow. Now, how did that go? Oh, it was great. I mean, um, you know, just to hear that we you were just better tell over. everybody that because I, I know all this already because I read up on it and that. But the boys are just back from Glasgow where they did Frank Pig Says Hello with Kim McCafferty playing the male lead. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Like, as if Beckett's not mad enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's and it. now you've done this to Pat McCabe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can imagine that strikes people as odd, but uh, and and we, you know, it was, it was something that maybe you should talk more about. Pat's, Pat's. Um... Yeah, in a way, I've um, I can kind of say I've a, kind of a working relationship now with Pat, and um, just working with Living Dread yeah. and his previous play, The Bridge Below the Town, and it's a play is I've I know very well. Frank Big says hello, and it's something as a director I wanted to work on. So when we had. Um, in my head, Kim and Ray maybe as, as two actors to work on this project. We weren't sure what play to choose. So um, the play then came to mind was Frank Pig Says Hello. And rather than um, putting Ray into the, the lead, which would have been a natural thing to do, we kind of questioned, of, um, is there a possibility of this character, Francie Brady, yeah. um, actually maybe question his relationship, um, his sexuality, with um, with himself, with his uh, with his family, with his surroundings, <clears throat> and we went to Pat McCabe and asked him these questions, and he said, um, "Francie Brady is a girl," you know. Mad. So, 
put that madness on top yeah. of the madness of the world and the small town Ireland that he creates and shines a light over. Um, yeah, it's a whirlwind of a place. Just look, looking at Paul's face there. Paul's face going... Oh, oh no, I've got, to, I've got to come and see it. Yeah, it's yeah. just... Um, it, it, it's really opened loads of doors for us. Yeah. Through our process. And um, and in Scotland, it was a success. Yeah. It was... Um, we performed in part of a performing arts college over there, and um, <clears throat> which was greatly supported by... Um, Go on, answer it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the programme was supported by Leonardo da Vinci European uh, yeah. Work Placement, uh, by Leargas and um, Labour Market uh, sponsors. So we kind of want to thank them for providing it and Cavan Arts. But the whole experience was to, to really get a sense of theatre in another country, um, different audiences, and um, yeah, how would an Irish play that was first performed in 1992. Yeah. Go down in uh, in Glasgow in 2014. And it did. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we hope to maybe travel there next year with it. Who knows? Now, anybody that's not familiar, it's, it's, it was taken from the Butcher Boy, wasn't it? <coughs> it was, was actually it? a play first. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then it was, uh, from there, it went became the Butcher Boy, did it? Became the yeah. novel, and then obviously the film, which everybody kind of knows maybe more about, um, the famous film with Eamon Owens. Yeah, fantastic, yeah, it was brilliant. And Ray, you take on the whole village. <laughs> well, yeah. Take explain, that. explain now what, what's happening well, here. Well, thankfully, I don't have to take them on. I, I'm, kind of, <laughs> I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of with them. But it, no, it's funny, I do actually, because in a way, like I'm playing older Frank. Mm. Um, and um, so it's, fr- it's Frank telling the story, you know. And I find it actually, the trickiest part is to play almost the narrator of the story. And then jumping in out to the the different characters of the town, like it, it's you know it's Pat McCabe, it's a Pat McCabe play, and uh, you know the way he writes characters, they're you know, they're it's just they're just so <laughs> colour, they're just so colourful, and they're you know, <laughs> like priests with aliens' heads. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. this is the crack. As a director you know. and and Ray as an actor, you see, um, an actor character says, um, we have a priest with an alien's head. So how do you put that on stage, you know? <laughs> and for an actor, how does an actor <laughs> deal with that, you know? Yeah, so it, it, uh, yeah, that's one to look out for. Mm. <laughs> uh, and I just, you see, and it, what gets me is just, there's only two people on stage. Mm. So yeah. there's nobody to, to distract yeah. from you if you go, hold on a minute. You know, you know what I mean? If you just say, like, give me a second. And there's no props. No props, nothing. No props at all. So um, it's just a blank canvas, almost like the world of imagination. Um, but I think, uh, you know, Kim McCafferty's physicality yeah. has brought a big thing to this, this production. Um, and, uh, I've been trying to keep and up. And Kim comes alive, doesn't she? You know, she's got stage presence. Oh, no, she really has, yeah. As soon as she's there, you know. Unbelievable energy, you know. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's been, the last six weeks have been more like a workout for me than <laughs> a physical <laughs> workout. As, lo- as well as mental, <laughs> like, uh, you know, I've been, uh. I've been yeah, it's been. It's but it's been. Gr- it's great actually the dynamic between Ray and Kim, mm-hmm. um, because if you had if you had two people maybe, with the same, um, with the same kind of approach as Kim may have with her circus skills and yeah. f- physicality may not may not work with the dynamic of the play, because uh, actually the, the main point for me kind of uh, for directing Ray, in a way is the narration of the because it's, it's a story at the end of the yeah. day. No matter what we see on stage, <clears throat> no matter what kind of symbols or metaphors are, are happening throughout, it's actually the story that's been told through older Frank looking back on his memory, yes. um, which is a kind of a fascinating um, way of just presenting a story. And how do you direct that, Kieran? Looking at just two people on the stage mm. who have got it, you know, and it's, yeah, I, it's is it observational and you're waiting to say, oh, just turn that way or just express it this way um yeah i guess um as a kind of as my directorial debut in a way i've done a lot of smaller work before but it was very much this production is the actors that i have with me Mm. on board the two people on stage are really my my directorial choices from Mm -hmm. from number one and then when i go into a rehearsal room it's really me bringing my kind of view of this world and the view of the play. Yes, we've stripped back loads of kind of set and props and very much about 
how Ray and Kim communicate and their dynamic on stage. Um, and yeah, it's just been a really nice kind of exploration of how to get the best out of two great actors yeah. and a great writer. Fantastic. And not, uh, how many nights did you do in Scotland? We've done one open performance kind of rehearsal for, uh, for students and uh, we just done one performance. What did students think? What was the feedback after? Students, um, I'm not sure. I think there was a bit of um, not being familiar with, exactly, with yeah. the Irish kind of small town, yeah. which uh, McCabe shines a light on, as I said. But really impressed by Ray and Kim's yeah. commitment and um, professionalism because that's kind of one of my kind of striding aims for directing plays in Cavan and the Cavan Theatre Festival is to bring a professionalism around theatre. Mm -hmm. Who else um, is on the team? You have a, a we team, have right? Paul Farnan. Um, Paul's doing the soundtrack, is he? He's doing Sound and Lights. Lights. Can you tell us a bit about the soundtrack? This, this is my bit now. Is it, is it, or do you have to go and see to find <laughs> um, out? Actually, yeah. Like it's, it's one of my... Uh, I really love the music in this play. Yeah. Like McCabe has given us um, a few pointers. Um, Kind of 1950s, 60s, the Allen sisters, oh, um, yeah. Flanagan and yeah, Allen, yeah. you know, um, Don't Sit Under the Apple yeah. Tree. Don't sit under the apple tree. Thankfully, well, Kieran's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kieran's over in the corner the whole through the play, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, and underneath the arches, and um, we kind of have gone maybe down the route of kind of more operatic music to kind of shine a light on it's pig world that they're living in but the music that we may see is more of a grand operatic scale from maybe the Thieve and Magpie to um, some um, some yeah some short snippets of um, any plans to expand on it bring it anywhere else or? we're thinking about it talking about it oh, uh, it you, know, you know the, the, the other, yeah. the other theatres around the country now. Ray I have to ask you have, it's bad enough study in one part and I was when I heard about you doing this, I was going, Jesus, what's he going to read? The part, do you go home at night and go, I better study that part now, that part now, because you do play so many different characters. Mm. Uh, at the beginning, it was daunting. Just. Oh Christ! I was, I was, I was looking at it and then thinking, no, you know, at the beginning, there's a lot of optimism, you know, no problem, I'm going to be able to do this, and then um, there's <laughs> a really kind of curve you go on, like go, and then. You know, and you go, oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. And you have to reconvince yourself. And then you get to a high going, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then you realize, oh, you're not doing so good. So it's just, it's been an emotional roller coaster. And you're putting yourself, trying to put yourself into the mind of these characters and the narrator, Frank, you know what I mean? And what he's gone through. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's Frank. I think he's telling the story. So he's imagining these characters. So in a way, in a way, I'm seeing it as it's, 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 it's the lead character impersonating these characters. Do you know what I mean? Which sort of, <laughs> in one way, in one way, adds another layer of weirdness to the to the to the process, but in, in another way, it makes it easier because, you know, you can. You know, um, yeah. has to be seen to be believed. Well, I think so anyway. Kieran, you've seen it. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's something that um, kind of Cavan hasn't seen before. I think yeah. as a, as regards to um, as a production of a play, um, I think yeah, there'll be lots of surprises in there and. Um, yeah, come and again, on. there's a lot of talk about it. There's a, an awful lot of people wanting to see it, and a lot of people are going away this weekend as well. <laughs> but that's so, why I say uh, that's why I say you have to bring it somewhere else as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You have to or bring it back or do something with it again, like you know, and again, like anything else. It's, it... But for now, like it is, it 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 is for the only planned um, performance in Cavan. Yeah. So it might be the only opportunity to see it. So if you're not going away somewhere this weekend, um, I'm going to Nish Buffett. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Well, tell your friends. That's why the drums are there. Your Kieran, it's up to you. Hey, I'll tell, tell everybody where it's on. Seriously, on a serious note now. Okay, so know. if you want something to do for an hour and 15 minutes Saturday evening, come to the Town Hall Theatre in Cavan, 8 pm. It's only 8 quid. It's a steal. Um, yeah, and watch two amazing actors at the top of their game. And um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be brilliant. And this is the, the other end of the spectrum from the Devil's Cayley, where there's loads of people on stage, but this brings it to another level. Ray, uh, congratulations. Break a leg, man. That's all I can say. Well, don't just... say that yet, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> do you know the history of that break a leg? Your man yes. actually did break, a le break his leg on a piece of rope when the yeah. curtain was being pulled. That was the leg, because mm. he was pulling the, <laughs> yeah, pu pulling the leg of the curtain. <laughs>
and it broke his leg when it fell. Broke his leg. Ooh. So and he had to put, give the performance of his life. Yeah. On a broken leg. And said, uh, so it must be good luck. Holy crap. <laughs> Lucky enough, was, lucky, <laughs> lucky enough, it was Treasure Island he was playing. <laughs> well, that's thanks to William for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Bro. <coughs> we, we can beam them back up now. Are you going to rehearsal now? No. no. We're no. finished for the evening. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just got yeah, to. Yeah, that's, uh, that was, that, that's why you, you yeah. rushed straight to the, uh, the the transporter room over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we, we may just mention also we're doing a performance in uh, Lachlan House, the open prison, tomorrow evening. Which uh, should be an interesting experience with um, with the inmates down there, and it's great to be part of uh, the Bialtina Festival. So it's part of that kind of social inclusion, and I think that um, yeah, I think the writing of Pat McCable um, will go down well. Is Pat coming to see you, or does he does he say does he do a Hitchcock? He is, yes, he's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. let you know that he's going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> Some, somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in disguise. Kieran, just just lean forward to everybody. Has a look Sorry. at Kim now. Look, 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 look at the screen there. Look, oh, yeah. Go, yeah. Now there's our Kim there. Look. Ah, oh, Ray, how could you not do well with Kim? She's gorgeous. I know. This For is God's it. sake. I know. Well, the only thing is, I'm going to be upstaged the whole time. You know. <laughs> do you uh, like the photo? That's 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 brilliant. That, that's a fantastic, fantastic. That's brilliant. Well, lads, thanks a million for coming in. Cheers, Paul. And, thank you. And the thank very, you. very, very best of luck. It sounds fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, we'll have you back in before the theatre festival kicks off. We but shall. You did promise. I did, and uh, I just don't want to go too early, Paul. No, no, of course not. No, no, but we want to want to have a good chat about it well. as well. Uh, Rayford Simons and Kieran Smith, ladies and gentlemen, very best of luck. Uh, Frank Pig says hello. Uh, this Saturday night. Saturday night. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Right here we go. This is it. This is it. Well, the boys are going to be beamed up now. Watch this. Watch. Pew. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.